this and I was farting around and I couldn't figure out why shit wasn't working. And um, finally discovered that I apparently have a fault in my uh, GBS 8200 board. Um, I don't get video output unless I flex um, something. It's, it's, it's when I push down on the CPU. I guess I've either got a cold solder joint on the, on the microcontroller or I have to have it up on the edge of this this uh, when I flex the board like that <coughs> I can get a video signal so um, I guess I'm gonna have to try to fix this board <coughs> excuse me so uh, I got the GBS 8200 working um, I ended up having to uh, resolder one edge of this uh, this uh, CPU thing that's got the heatsink glued onto it here, and then um, it started working. I got a picture on the output monitor. Then I mean, not a picture, picture, but I could see the on-screen menu. So yeah, the GBS 8200 will display the on-screen menu now. Um, I can't get uh, any input video rendered to the monitor though. Um, when I select the uh, that's a that's a message. See, I've got it set to the RGBS input, which is correct. Um, I'm uh, generating a constant uh, six six hundred millivolt um, signal on the red channel here, going into the uh, GBS eighty two hundred. All right, and uh, I'm generating XOR sync with this. I see right here, and uh, I, uh, I've tried it with the polarity both ways. I think this is the proper, the proper type of sync signal here. Um, you XOR the horizontal and vertical sync signals together, and then invert it to get a proper composite sync signal. Right. So the monitor, the monitor, or I should say, the GBS eighty two hundred does lock onto that sync, sync signal because if I pull the uh, the composite sync line that goes to the GBS 8200 it's going to tell me that it's getting no signal and it doesn't matter um, which of these I plug it into let's uh, let's try it on the non-inverted um, see it, it locks onto the non-inverted sync signal too um, when I when I plug into it so I am not exactly sure what's going on here. The monitor should be displaying a constant red color since I'm generating 600 millivolts on the red channel here and it doesn't matter matter which channel um, I plug the thing into. I don't see any color on the screen at all on either of the screens. I don't want to use the big monitor because if I blow it up I want to blow up this shitty old monitor but um, I don't know man the only <sighs> Pardon me. The only um, other explanation I've got is that um, there's still something wrong with the GBS 8200. Now, um, I mean, I mean, the video signal is going to suck with all these like um, shitty wires run all around here, right? But I ought to be able to be getting, I ought, I ought to be getting something. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I stick the scope into the sink pin on the GBS 8200 I can see a fairly decent I mean it's got some ringing going on from all those long wires but I can see a fairly decent sync signal going into that thing very aggravating I guess the next thing for me to do get an analog RGB machine out that I know has a good video output and try feeding that into this thing and see if I can get something on the RGB monitor I think the only thing I've got that does that is the Apple 2GS, but um, and I don't have any DB15 connectors. Ah, well, I'm gonna put the brakes on this for today and go eat something. Very disappointing, but since that 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 board, since I had to fix that board to begin with, I think there's still something wrong with it. I ought to be getting a red signal on the screen. Meh.